this is a discussion of the, uh, let me start again. Let me start. This is the, the uh, a map of the modules of the course. You see the introduction at first. It shows three modules, and sometimes we have to take all three, sometimes two of them. Sometimes we even have to go a fourth module, uh, and the timing of the other, uh, other uh, parts of the course are adjusted accordingly. After that, we do radio propagation uh, and propagation models. Then we do electronic warfare support, and we talk about receivers during that time as well, and receiving systems. Uh, then we deal about electronic attack principles. Then we move to advanced radar threats, talking about uh, the advanced, various defense types of radars and events, advanced types of communication threats. Uh, that these include spread spectrum signals and so on. Then we talk about modern uh, electronic attack systems, including uh, DURFM based systems and so on. Uh, then we do electronic warfare, electronic attack against the modern radars. Then electronic warfare against modern communication systems. Then we do a module on expendables and decoys. And finally, we do a module on module on directed energy weapons to finish the course. Now, in each case, you'll notice that the middle section of the chart is the subject, and to the right, to the right of it, we're talking about reference material, uh, and the reference material appropriate to each section is listed here. Where it says notes, that its material does not come out of the reference book, and in fact, there are references uh, that are, are used throughout the course. The course, course is written to these, uh, these 11 references. So rather than taking one textbook, uh, I've taken many uh, different references uh, and pulled those into the course uh, and, and developed material from those. <clears throat> and on the individual slides, the uh, references into this, these reference back to my documents, is listed in, uh, in most cases. Sometimes it's not appropriate to do so, but in most cases it's there. Here are some sample slides from the advanced course. First of all, we've got a slide rule, okay? Uh, that's a calculation slide rule uh, that allows uh, people to make very quick calculations of radio propagation and antenna trade-offs and so on. Uh, <clears throat> that uh, some is very valuable if you're in the field or on a flight line conducting the tests. Uh, and you don't have time to sit down and make detailed calculations. You can make very good link calculations using this slide rule very, very rapidly. And they'll learn how to use all of the slides on this slide rule. And we have uh, demonstrations that we go through in class exercises. This is an example of a nomograph that's used. Uh, for a, uh, a, a part, of, part of the propagation discussion. If you, uh, in this known graph, if you put a, a uh, distance for line of sight propagation, you have the frequency, draw a line to the distance, you can read the, the width loss here, uh, the spreading loss, but that's just for one. And there are known graphs for each of the multiple on propagation models, uh, as well as the slide rule, as well as formulas uh, for each of the propagation models. This is one of the areas that we cover. <clears throat> this is an example of talking about jamming, uh, and this happens to be in the communi digital communication realm. For example, if you jam a roadside bomb, uh, an IED jamming, uh, this, this shows uh, the uh, the curve of bit error rate versus jamming to signal ratio. And the point of this is, if you have a jamming signal ratio of zero to the digital signal, you get most of the bit errors that you're going to get. Uh, it's part of a general discussion about jamming uh, digital signals. Uh, this is a, a slide uh, talking about, oh, pardon me, it's just talking about one of the issues with uh, the, Thermally guided missiles, heat seeking missiles. Uh, this is a new a two color sensor and it's showing uh, the, uh, the, the energy versus wavelength curve 
for the black body and radiation curves for a flare for a plume for an aircraft. And uh, we discussed the way a, a smart missile uh, can not be fooled by a flare, for example. That's one of several things we'll be talking about with modern flares and modern uh, thermally guided missiles. Uh, and we talk about the ways that this is overcome uh, with, with the modern flares. One of the things we talk about in digital RF memories, this is one of many slides in that section, talks about uh, how a narrow band, multi-channel uh, narrow band of uh, a digital RF memory works and explain the coherence issues and the, the timing issues. And in this area, well, on those slides in this area, talking about uh, both wide band and narrow band issues. We'll take them to the discussion of creating very uh, complex false targets uh, using digital art and an associated processor, and so on. So we do have a good discussion of, of, of modern jamming techniques and issues. Uh, this is an example of a slide that we're using in the significant module that we have on digital communication theory. This is what the waveform, the RF waveform looks like for a digital signal. And you can see the, the main burst of it, you can see the nulls, uh, they define the null, so-called null to null bandwidth. We also talk about typical uh, modulation schemes and, uh, and typical transmission bandwidths, and, and then we go on to, of course, to talk about how to jam those uh, One of the things we talk about is dynamic range. This is a typical chart, and you'll notice down here, in the right hand, lower right hand corner, it talks about the third one of these references, which happens to be the technical PW 103, that this is discussed on page 108 of that, uh, of that uh, background reference book. Uh, and this allows you to take intercept point, which is where you buy a preamplifier, and convert that to uh, the calculations are made that they're not showing in the slide, that uh, talk about the way that you uh, generate the uh, dynamic range calculation for a particular receiver in a particular situation. Okay, now uh, those were typical slides. This is a typical problem, a new in-class problem. This happens to be an ugly com jamming problem. We also do uh, ugly uh, radar jamming problems and intercept problems and so on. Uh, in this case, we have three different uh, situations for receiver placement, or, uh, I'm sorry, jam replacement against a, a net speed jam. Uh, and uh, for each of those, they set up the problem, uh, and then they work the problem, uh, and then, then the answers are given on subsequent slides. So that they do the problem, and then, then uh, uh, we evaluate the, the answers that the class is coming up with against the criteria and the special files. So that's the nature of the course. It's a, it's a four-day course that is an advanced electronic warfare course. It's not advanced in that we use advanced math. We use advanced concepts uh, in electronic warfare. We build on things that they already have. Uh, and if, if they don't have as much as we would like them to have uh, from previous work, that will be picked up in the review so that we're all speaking the same language uh, and they have the vocabulary uh, of modern electronic warfare and we can hold meaningful class discussions uh, along with work.